Hi, we're live from Seagraph 2018 in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia this year. And I'm happy to welcome to Post Perspective TV our friend Gary Radburn from Dell. Thank you, Gary. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Gary, this is, uh, it's Tuesday morning. This is the beginning of the show. So we're just uh, rolling along and diving right in. Um, what do you guys have new at the show? The Dell Precision 3000 Pro Workstations. Yep, Updates. absolutely. Yeah, so uh, we've updated our 3000 line, which is what we call the entry level workstations mm -hmm. there. And uh, we've been making a, a lot of moves in the, in the VR and the AR space, which is obviously big, as you can see from around the hall. Uh, and now the 3000 series is now ready for VR. So our new 3630 is actually smaller than the previous generation. So we've taken space out. I think it's 23% now smaller. Uh, but we've actually managed to put more powerful graphics card inside of that, up to 225 watts, to be able to drive wow. that VR experience a lot better. So we have a program that we call Ready for VR, so customers can be assured they're getting the right product, right, if they're looking to do a VR or AR experience. Mm -hmm. And this now fits into that bracket. So it's making it more affordable for people to get onto the VR usage models for their business. Fantastic, and if people wanted more inter, uh, in, information on that program, what, what should they do? Oh, absolutely, go to the, to the website, uh, okay. dell.com forward slash VR. Forward slash right, VR. Is, is a, is a beauty, beauty URL there. Um, but alongside of that, we've also got uh, the, a brand new product, which is a 1U workstation. Oh, right, so basically rack mountable inside of that, and 1U means it's a very low profile inside mm -hmm. of the rack. And that can also take a powerful graphics card. If you wanted to do VR on that, you could. Um, but this is more for your remote workstation users. So people who are looking to have power, looking for security. And um, you may have heard, as we've gone through the years, our partnership with Teradici yes. and the PC over IP. Uh, again, that's how we're trying to get people to use powerful workstations, but back-ended inside a secure data center, and then using that power on their desk. Right, so it's a, it's a very exciting time. Yes, it sounds like it. And uh, you're going against the laws of physics, going into a smaller profile with more power. Nicely oh, done. Oh, no, ab absolutely. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite incredible, with the, the engineering talent that's gone into that. Great. And you also, uh, community outreach for m and &E. you've been working closely with some partners and the folks at Sony, as I understand it. Yep, absolutely. So um, we've got uh, Sony Innovation Studios. It was a big partnership between um, them, us, and Deloitte and uh, Intel inside of that. And what we're trying to do is we're really trying to bring VR to more people. So one of the challenges, should we say, is people don't know where to start. There's a lot of down payment you have to make on high-end equipment. But if you can utilize the power of a Sony studio with the equipment that's already there and the expertise already there, we can actually do VR and AR projects. Not easier, but absolutely enable people to be able to do that for their business. And we're not just looking at media and entertainment there either. Right. right. So this is actually to be used by other areas as well. So let's not just pigeonhole ourselves inside the M&E, no. which is where we're seeing a lot of VR and AR because, quite frankly, it's where the talent pool is, or the artistries, mm -hmm. or the Unity programs. All here zero. at Seagraph on yeah. display. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited to actually have a look <laughs> around myself. Um, but all of those talents are based in M&E, but they're now branching out doing projects for other industries mm -hmm. because that's where it all started. Right? And so it's very, very exciting to be partnering with, with Sony in doing that. Excellent. And uh, were there other partners in the Sony initiative? Yeah. So there was Deloitte and Intel as well. That's right. That's yep. right. Uh, anything else in the world of VR that uh, Dell would like to share with? Uh, some people will be watching or here at the show and couldn't get everywhere, but a lot of people are going to be checking these out and we're not able to make it to the show this year. Right. No, I, VR has just really, really taken off. Uh, in my mind, there's been a lot of, how should we say, tire kicking in the last 12, mm -hmm. 18 months. People not sure what VR can bring to the table. Now we're starting to see a lot more traction of projects coming to the table, people actually utilizing it, whether it be immersive training, so working with companies for um, HVAC maintenance, or putting people in perilous situations without mm -hmm. actually putting them in perilous <laughs> situations. Um, Always the best way to be in a perilous situation. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, for training a firefighter, you know, rather, rather than putting somebody in a burning building, you yes. can actually put them inside a simulation of that using VR, and some of the location-based entertainment techniques that are already out there now coming into the business. Uh, and then we've got our technology partner program where we bring in people who we believe have got the best of the best solutions so that our customers can actually see those, try them out, and utilize those to actually 
make their projects come to fruition a lot quicker and a lot easier without going down several dead ends before they actually make the right choice. So it's, it's phenomenally taken off and one of my favourite sound bites is that VR is like a dog year. Seven years of technology <laughs> rolled into one and it still, it still hasn't slowed down. Fantastic. And I'll probably be stealing that, just so you know. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Feel free. As long as the royalty checks keep coming, we'll yes, be fine. Yes, I'll make sure they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to let you uh, take a look around and get on with your day, but thank you very much for joining us. So thank you again to Gary Radburn from Dell, and that's us signing off from Seagraph 2018.